FEC data shows that some senior citizens across the U.S. have been donating thousands of times per year. Some of these individuals' names and addresses are attached to over $200,000 in contributions. We went and knocked on a few of their doors to corroborate the data that we received from a group of citizen journalists called Election Watch in Maryland. This is James O'Keefe with OMG. I'm here in Annapolis, Maryland. It's an individual who has donated a total of $217,000 made through 12,000 different contributions in a three-year period of time. Now, sometimes these contributions have been made in variations of his name and variations of his address. You see this chart here. This chart shows a breakdown of the committees that were earmarked to receive the donations made through Act Blue. And this is all FEC and state data. We're wondering if these donors are victims of what appears to be a money laundering scheme or these residents actually participated in the scheme or making phone calls or knocking on doors. These are things that you can do. We hope you do that. Follow me along and see what happens. This is something that you guys can do. Very easy to do. A lot of homes with bizarre amounts of data showing tens of thousands of contributions made through different uh, uh, different contributors here. So we, a lot of questions, and we hope the Citizen Journalism Army at OMG can answer them. This is an easy thing to do, knocking on doors, asking questions. Get yourself a little microphone. Get yourself a camera. You can use an iPhone. Um, what we're going to do as citizen reporters is go back to the car and call them, right? We're going to call them. Get a few numbers to call. Contributed 3,000 3, contributions for $32,000. The FEC records indicate that you donated $32,000, 3,000 different, different contributions people made at this address in your name. Are you aware of that happening? No, no. You're not aware of that happening? Talk to Donald Trump. Talk to Donald Trump? Well, how would Donald Trump help me answer that question? Hit him with a bat. Hit, hit Donald Trump with a bat? No. Right over the head. How would that help me answer this question? It would certainly keep you in the news. To do with I want to see a, a scar on his f***ing head. Now stop f***ing with me. Whoa. Whoa. Cindy No of Annapolis, Maryland, who in the year 2022 allegedly contributed over 1,000 times to Act Blue, totaling $18,849.77. That means Cindy would have had to donate three times a day, every day, for the whole year. Hello? Hey there, Cindy. My name is James O'Keefe, and we're doing a story on um, uh, the amount, number of people that have donated with your address. Did you donate to Act Blue, a p political cause? How many times a month do you donate to Act Blue? I don't know. I don't know how many times. I don't understand why why um, I'm getting this. Well, the question is, you did donate to Act Blue, right? Yes, uh, once in a while, yes. Did you donate a thousand and nine times? I don't know. I mean, I made once in a while I donate five or, or so dollars or something like that during election year. What about eighteen thousand eight hundred fifty dollars? I doubt that. <laughs> <laughs> Not that many donations. No, I don't think so. <laughs> what, what, the Federal Election Commission indicates that that much money was donated to Act Blue and Biden for president. I wish I, I wish I could have donated eighteen thousand dollars to Biden's presidency. How much did you donate? I don't know. I don't Order know. of magnitude. I, I like I said, I donate five dollars once in a while to, to because I have various charities I like to give to. Do you know people are using your address? I don't think so. So, interestingly enough, she said she donates something like five dollars a month, but. Um, we're getting kind of a pattern of reactions here as we as we do this. The woman was a very nice lady. She talked to us. So interestingly enough, it's even in a, even a two-party consent state like Maryland, with the camera out in the open, people are still being honest. <laughs> this is sort of new to me. Usually we use the covert cameras, but maybe the camera's a truth serum. But does it sound about right? There's been 18,000 contributions. Absolutely not. For the... Absolutely not. In the amount of like $170,000? Absolutely not. 
Absolutely not. Really? Yes. Okay. So that's not you doing that? No, it's not. But 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 the, 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 does the frequency ring a bell that you're donating that much every like ten times a day sometimes? No. 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 Do you think someone is maybe fraudulently um, well, debiting your be. accounts or something? They must be. AppBlue is the one I use for political right. donations, yep. and I do not make that kind of political donations. Right. Yeah, so right here. Um, yeah, it's 18,672 different contributions that total an amount of one hundred and seventy thousand dollars and two hundred and twenty one cents. No, 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 no. So I'm about to call Garland Riggs. He's the excessive small amount donor. Uh, Thirty one thousand seventy three individual contributions were made uh, under his address. He's 80 years old. He lives on the outskirts of D.C. So many people across the country. I'm going to call him and see if I can make a contribution in his name and see how he responds. He's either a victim of some type of conspiracy or he's a culprit himself. A lot of these phone numbers are available on white pages on Google and other apps where you can find people's phone numbers and information. Hey there, Mr. Riggs. Yes. James O'Keefe, just asking about those contributions we spoke on the phone. Um, have you donated to Act Blue in the past? I don't believe so. You, you're listed as someone who's given um, over 31,000 individual contributions to, to various causes for a total of $230,000 using your name in this address. No, that's, that's not us. That's not you? No. Nope. Have you ever donated to, to Act Blue? Or I think my wife has, but, but nowhere near it. Are you aware that people are using your, your name? No. Have you donated to Act Blue in the past? I don't believe so. You, you're listed as someone who's given um, over 31,000 individual contributions to, to various causes for a total of $230,000 using your name in this address. How much did you donate to Act Blue? Uh, so would you say a thousand a year? Probably not. Not a thousand. Not a thousand? Would the FEC records say that you've given two hundred thirty thousand dollars? No. It, it appears that someone else may be committing a crime using your address. I'll email you that information, the FEC records. And what? do you think you can find at least some of these individuals? That's what I do, sir. So when you do these, and you walk up to the home, you want to say the person's name. Let's call them Smith. Smith, did you donate to Act Blue or Biden for president? Do you know how many times donations were made in your name? Follow-up question, did you donate 3,000 times, right? You ask those questions in that manner in order to elicit honest responses. We have dozens of other homes just in this state alone, but hundreds across the country that match his profile. You can do the same thing, knocking on doors, asking questions. They follow up. We can also ask him for comment before we publish the story. We will do that, too. This is James O'Keefe reporting on the ground in Annapolis, Maryland for OMG. We received this fact-based data from one of our first group of amazing citizen journalists over at Election Watch in Maryland. The Gibson Group and Maryland 2020 Watch have submitted a lawsuit to the U.S. District Court of Maryland regarding this grievance. But we're also aware of this happening in many other states. Is it happening in yours? We need some fearless citizen journalists with enough integrity to ask the right questions to the right people in your state. Do you have what it takes? Go on O'KeefeMediaGroup.com and we'll make sure you have the information you need to do this important story. This is James O'Keefe with OMG.